In this video, I'd like to show you a very easy way to edit your profile sketches and profiles, and also to find them in the timeline and in your model. So let's get started. So let's start with something simple. Let's pick on this face. Right click, edit profile sketch. It opens up the sketch in editing mode. It grays at everything in the timeline back to that sketch. You're ready to go. Let's do the same thing on that surface and this time select edit feature. It goes right to the extrusion, opens up the editing dialog box and it shows the sketch that it came from and the feature and grays at everything else. Now this is great for models that you're not familiar with or one you worked on a long time ago and have forgotten. Let's do another one. Pick on this surface edit profile sketch. There's the sketch. It highlights it in the timeline and you're ready to go. Doing that again, edit feature. There's your extrusion dialog. There's a sketch it came from and the extrude in the timeline. Now if there is no sketch related to it, such as a chamfer, it will not be offered just to edit feature. Another very cool tool with this, if I put a wind around the whole model, right click, edit feature, it will show a list of all the features in the model. They're not in order of the timeline, but they do highlight as you go through them. For example, I wanted these use holes. I click on that and there are the holes showing the whole function and ready to edit. It shows the sketch they came from in the timeline and the feature and the whole command, which I'm working with. So that's a real nice feature that you can find and explore models completely. In another model, I'll pick on this hub right here. I would like to see the profile sketch. So I right click, edit profile sketch. There is no sketch related to the direct feature I was sitting on, but the extrusion was created using this feature, which comes from a sketch earlier. But there's the edit feature and highlights in the timeline. If I click on the outside rim, I can edit the profile sketch directly. It highlights at the beginning. And if I do it again, I can highlight the profile in the feature, in the extrusion, it shows the sketch and the extrusion in the timeline. Taking a look at another model, if I put a wind around this particular hole right there, if I right click and edit feature, notice it comes up with two, the hole and the pattern is a part of. The hole brings up the original hole back over here and the whole editing dialog. It shows also the sketch that created it and the hole right there in the timeline. So let's do that one more time and look at the pattern. If I pick on the pattern, it goes right to the pattern. It shows the sketch, the hole and the pattern in the timeline and the dialog is opened. Now let me show you one more really interesting feature. This particular revolve has been renamed by me in the timeline to bearing bore, whereas this one is just a simple revolve. If I put a wind around the whole complete model, right click edit feature, notice in the list of features, they're all highlighted, they're generic names, but this one bearing bore comes up where I named it. So if I pick on that, it goes right to it. So it's another interesting possibility. I hope you, it helps you do better editing in Fusion 360.